All right, welcome out everybody tonight for uh, business topic number 73. I just made up that number just now. Um, it's travel tips for successful business trips. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> All right. To grow your business, you know, you'll have to, um, at some point, you'll have to start traveling around, teaching classes in other cities and stuff. And uh, that's what this is about, um, as well as some practical tips for travel in general, which we'll talk about at the end. But mostly, uh, traveling around, why you should do it, how to prepare for it, um, how to promote. Um, promotion is a big part of traveling because you're gonna set up classes and you have to have people come to those classes to make it worth it. Mm -hmm. um, and how to maximize your time while you're traveling and some packing tips um, with business cl or class supplies, um, tips for traveling by plane or by car and tips in general. Um, all of this comes from years of experience. Um, Jade, uh, I know when she did, she's in Diamond Club like three times. We're gonna talk about that briefly here. Um, traveled, I mean, one one time she uh, what, went on 42 planes or something like that. 35. 35. <laughs> um, I oh, just okay. received word she went on 35 planes. It was, it was crazy. Um, traveling all the time, lots of driving around. Um, um, teaching lots and lots of classes, sometimes five classes in one day. Would you say that's your maximum? No, three, and then it's sort of like mini. It sounds worse if we say five, so we'll just say five. <laughs> it five all. classes in one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look, uh, learned a lot of things along, along the way, not just from our experience, but from, oh, sorry, technical difficulties, from experiences <laughs> of lots of uh, business, uh, Builders that we've um, worked with and uh, people on our team and everything. So, without further ado, I'm going to turn the time over to Jay. She's the one that honestly has done most of the traveling. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Take Jeff. it away. Thank you, Ben. Okay, you can go now. Okay. Right, go ahead. <laughs> we have these uh, just two people graduated from uh, the doTERRA Diamond Club just recently in Australia, and I'm so proud of them. Yay, fireworks. Just everybody can imagine fireworks going off right now. I really don't know how yes. to technically do that, so I just think it out. Yeah, okay. Fireworks. Uh, I'm so proud of them, and I want to encourage all of you to get to that point where you're able to travel and do Diamond Club too. This is a not just Diamond Club, but any sort of traveling to teach people yes. in other locations. Uh -huh. So I know that uh, our friend Barbara is going on a trip and a few other people um, that are not on this call and they're planning on trips too. Because this is an international business and we're not talking about necessarily you going overseas yet. You might soon. But uh, you know, before long, people on your team will be sharing the oils with their family members because it was work. <laughs> you know, as they play around with the different oils, it works. And then through the grapevine, um, somehow somebody will end up being out of state and, um, you know, they start to use the oils. They, they don't know what to do with it. You're on the phone. You do a lot of work with them. And then you feel like you're going to go out there and meet them in person. Okay. And if that's how it grows. If you stay in doTERRA and consistently work, I think around six months, um, you'll have some people that are international. Okay, so outside your state, outside your country too. So with our business, we have people in over 10 countries. Um, we have people in the Middle East. We have Europe and, uh, of course, Asia and um, New Zealand, Australia and the US. And, um, yeah, where, who, where else they have? Oh, yeah, we have South America. We have people there too. This, it's exciting um, and you have to think about how you can support these people. So we have online classes, we have emails, new, newsletters and everything. That's great. But um, sometimes you want to go out there and, and travel and meet them in person. So let me ask you a question. When do you know, when, when should, does someone know that they should start traveling? Okay, good question. So I'll, I'll ask you guys that. When do you think you should go and get traveling and go out to a different place, you know, and build? Any ideas? When should you do that? <laughs> Kayla's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Well, there's two scenarios. Did you want to say something? Oh, I was going to say opportunity. Yeah, there's two you scenarios. One okay. is you're going to go out of town anyways because you're going to visit your family. 
right? And some things, some wedding, some, you know, big event and you're going anyways. So if you do that, um, if you use that opportunity to maybe slip in a class or two. Uh, so <laughs> the friends here in locally, um, when I put that idea in their head, they think, oh yeah, so well, let's get together with my girlfriends and people that are there while I visit my family. So you make the most of your trip. You can add it there on the beginning mm -hmm. or on the end of that trip. Because you're already going. And the idea is to start establishing classes in other places um, because in Diamond Club, let, let's go back to what Diamond Club is. So doTERRA has this um, travel uh, reimbursement program where they pay for your travels up to $200 for your road trips per trip. per trip. And you can reimburse up to six trips, okay, and um, in, a month. in a month. And then they reimburse you for your um, airfares. Up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So if you so pay send in all your receipts and they yep. give you money. It's yep. really good. Yeah, because they want you to build your business. They want to invest in you. Okay. How soon can someone do Diamond Club? So for people in Australia, you have to be premier. Okay, at least. Okay, so that's two legs of two thousand and with a total volume of five thousand. Okay, so that's why I was like, hey Beck, hey, you know, all these girls try to get to this level. And um, some of them did, and Beck and uh, Phil got to, to do this Diamond Club. Okay, what and airfares. You know, the United in the States, US, <laughs> just a foreign country. US, you guys have to be silver. And that's what I want to help you achieve to so get to silver rank so that you can qualify for this because there's a lot of people in the US that um, want to do Diamond Club. Sometimes okay, so they have several mean? hundred. Um, no, I didn't finish. Oh. So you have two hundred dollars of reimbursement for travel, like um, petrol, gas, um, for the Gasoline. driving, um, and up to two hundred fifty dollars for the airfares. Okay, and you can get up to six trips reimbursed. And they require you to have an away from home team that you claim that you want to build. And you also have to have so many personal enrollments mm -hmm. leading up to qualification. Yeah. yeah, so there's a few things that you need to do, but uh, you know, if you already have a team, say in your hometown where you were um, brought up and you have family, you have cousins and friends there, and um, they've got you know, a pretty good sized team, five, 10 people doing LRP that you wanna build over there, um, so they're paying you to make those trips every month, okay? Um, so you are required, in Australia, they changed it up a little bit, um, but they want you to travel about three times away from home, okay? And um, sometimes you can do one trip and then do several and stay there for a few days and then count that as three um, events. Okay, so they want three away from home events and then three local events, which is very easy to do um, after you start teaching weekly classes. I mean, you count a one-on-one -on -one as a class, right? But you, ideally, you want to maximize that investment by creating big classes. So what does that mean for your team? If you, <laughs> it means, what results have we seen? Right. So every time I did Diamond Club, um, I had um, at least, you, ha you have to have at least 18 enrollments to stay in Diamond Club. Per month. Per month. Okay, so it seemed scary at first and Beck was like, I can't, can't even do more than three. <laughs> but you can do 18. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, no way. And then in the end, she did 69 for the whole time, the whole four months. So it's for four months long. Um, yeah, one, uh, so I did it three times. So last year I did it. Um, we got 130 enrollments in one month. So that was awesome. <laughs> um, and they also give you incentives. Like someone yes. enrolls at one of your classes, yep. they get an additional bonus, mm -hmm. an additional free something. Yep. So some of you are familiar with that, that you've hosted classes already that I've been to. And so anybody that enrolls with a 100 PV, whatever the, the promotion is that month for doTERRA, they get that too. But because you're there and you're entering their enrollment in uh, through your Diamond Club portal, you're able to give them an extra oil. 
So sometimes they get an extra balance oil with their 100 PV promotion. Uh, sometimes it's the, um, it's exciting to have someone else from out of town come in. It's like an excuse to get your friends together and say, hey, this girl's making this trip. Um, you know, she knows a lot about oils or my friend wants me to host a class. I want to support her. You want to come along. Um, and, you know, if you're local, sometimes they, they give excuses uh, because you're still here. <laughs> but because you make a trip, sometimes people go out of their way to come to your classes. So it kind of, it win, it's win-win for everyone. It's win-win for you as a, um, you know, a person that's traveling and win-win for the hostess. Um, yeah, so, you know, one time I did a trip to the US um, and Canada and so I got a whole bunch of my teammates to host classes. So they prepared all their friends host classes. So some days I had three classes back to back, the next day three classes back to back. And then, um, you know, we had people learning and then enrolling, people learning and enrolling. And I just did that. And so I went to several different states. So my whole trip, um, I had it all in one itinerary. And um, so I kind of uh, itemized it. So, you know, I went to this city, this city, this city. And then in the end, doTERRA paid me for each leg. Okay. So 250 for each leg. So my ticket was 2000 or so to go all the way from Australia to the US and to all these states and then to Canada and back to Australia. And doTERRA paid $1,500 of it back. So really, I paid $500 to make this investment and go and do all these things. It's really good to... You got tons of enrollment. Oh uh, yeah, a ton of enrollment. Grew so that, my legs, grew my teams. That paid for it. Yeah, because sometimes you want to sprint. Uh, like I said, with Ben today, again, we keep on going, wow, it's so awesome. Because what business do you know that you can work so hard in the first five years and then be able to retire and um, from your careers and then just keep doing this? Okay, that's amazing. Now, what would you say to someone that says, oh, you know what, um, I don't want to travel a lot, I don't want to leave yeah. my kids at home? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So that was my dilemma because I'm like, oh, I want to be a good mom for my kids. I want to be And this is travel in general, not just dining yeah. room. Not everybody yeah. can. Yeah. So I started like you know, going home, here and there, driving here and there for, for a bit because I felt like this is a very important thing, but I wanted to build a future. So my kids were in dance and we had other things to do. I wanted to be there all the time for my kids. And then I realized that I have to make some sort of sacrifice and um, I have to just give and take. So some things that are not as important, um, I will not be able to make it. So I delegated and had Ben go instead or my mom go and someone just to be there for them. Um, and then uh, we had to reduce things, you know, each of my children had to just do one extracurricular activity because this is a time of investment and they learned from our sacrifice how to sacrifice. Um, so, you know, there are times that I wasn't there at school for them, but you know, in general, I mean, compared to other moms, I felt like I was there a lot. Um, but you know, of course my standard is all the way here. Mm -hmm. Um, so in the end, you know, here I am sacrificing some of this and building a pipeline for my children. We had to minimize everything. And, you know, um, there's things like at church that people do, extra stuff. I had to say no to. I had to sacrifice. You know, I did the, the, the very important things, um, but then I didn't do the extra stuff. And even today, we have people asking me if I want to join this and join that and do this with them. All of that stuff is great. But I have a mission. I have a purpose. I have people that I feel responsible for. Like I have new team leaders that I really want to see succeed, right? They've sacrificed and they put their heart and soul into this. I want to help them. So I can't let myself be distracted by too many things. So I have to pick and choose what to give up. Um, but, you know, now I have the ability to be with my kids more than I've ever been, right? And we have the financial freedom to, to give them what they want as well. So that little sacrifice, I have had, you know, this blessing that uh, pays back tenfold, a hundredfold, and it keeps growing every month. Um, so I feel like that time of sacrifice is worth it. And one point of my travels, because I traveled um, for a few weeks and I came home and I was a little bit tired um, 
and I felt a little bit guilty because I missed out and Ben was good he always takes photos he makes videos for me so I feel like I'm I've been there <laughs> with them even though I wasn't there um, and then I sat on my bed feeling a little bit down on myself um, you know because I can't possibly be in two places at once. So I don't know why I was like moping, but uh, sitting there <laughs> feeling sorry for myself. And then my oldest daughter came in and she flopped down onto my bed and then she saw mom. And I thought, yes, she said, mom, when I grow up, can you show me, can you help me be successful like you? You know, and at that point I thought she's been watching and she, thinks that I'm successful, you know, and I felt like I was successful, but I just was hoping that I'll be a successful mom as well. But she learned and to, to get out of her, her way. And that year I noticed that my two oldest kids, they applied for leadership positions in school. And, you know, one was picked as a prefect, another pe person was pre picked um, for, you know, student body something. And they were out there doing speeches and other things. And I felt like, and wow. They, they stepped up in their responsibilities at home as well. I, yeah, that too. So I wanted them to be responsible at home. But, you know, half the time I picked up after them if I, they didn't do it. And, and dad just tells them to pick up their own darn stuff. <laughs> yeah. And when I came home one time, they made a meal. They knew that I was going to be back in time. And then they made a meal and they did it all. You know, and I thought, what? You know, if, because... They had to, they had to succeed. They, you know, they had to make it. And it was brilliant. And even now, when we run our business at home, the kids will take turns doing meals. And I taught them something without being here, you know, because they took, they stepped up and it was amazing. Um, so Saturday chores go so fast now. <laughs> All those wonderful things. Anyways, um, yeah, it was worth it. I mean, if you guys have children or grandchildren that you have at home, sometimes we just have to think creatively. Yeah. All right. So one last question, this uh, section that we're talking about why you should travel. Yep. How do you know where you should travel to? All right. It's your team will grow organically. You don't have to think of it. You will know where to go. Um, I just like I had teams in New Zealand. So give us an example. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, so we had teams in New Zealand and we have teams in Canada and like in, would you pick somewhere on the map and just go there no of course not you okay. have you have team members that are growing so you have to have a team member yep. there and you just they, any they're team leaders member? they have to be leaders okay they have to um, show that they are growing their business doing something um, you know for you to make that sacrifice but then they have to um, you know show that they're they're committed. committing and teaching classes right. and inviting people to. And that's our so my, my rule is I will meet them in the middle. So as much effort as they put into their business, I will put the same in. Okay. So when people put a whole ton of effort in, I will put a whole ton of effort in. Okay. So that's, that's the, the rule of thumb for me. Okay. So okay. when preparing for a, um, a travel opportunity, um, how would you go about picking a, a date and a, a place and yeah you know it's gonna be hard for everyone you know everyone is busy there's a holiday in everyone's calendar for every month there's a business there's a birthday somewhere there's something all the time so you just ask your friend wherever they are um, you know to see if this is a good date for them and then we just pick it like three months ahead right and then we just work around it um, so we don't know who's gonna come what's gonna happen doesn't matter we'll pick the date we'll pick, you know pick the times and then we just make a flyer and that's what we do. So can I give an ex experience, yep. uh, a recent um, destination you went to, yep. we picked a date and then people started discovering, oh, that's the same day as graduation or something that's happening in the community, lots of people. Yep. And we said, look, we've picked that date. We've, um, you know, advertised it and we thought about it and we just stuck with it. Mm -hmm. because you can't go changing around the day, you know, based on everybody's situation. You'll never find a date that's right. That's right You're for everyone. stuck with that date yeah. um, and things worked out. Yeah. Yes, people were still able to come. Not Maybe not everybody was able to come, yeah. but, you know, you're never going to get everybody. That Just right. don't go for the perfection. Right. Go for 80%. That's, mm -hmm. that's good. Or if you get 50%, if you get one person there, you know, mm -hmm. just get somewhere. Yeah. Um, so... 
just pick a date, try to do the best you can, yeah. and then stick with that date. Um, obviously, there may be some really extraneous situations where you would change that, but you don't want to change change things around. Mm -hmm. Also, what about the place? Where should you be teaching classes? Okay, usually it's in people's homes. It's just their family, their friends. Um, but sometimes we do events, and um, you know, then people can book venues. But if that's the case, then you know, I would delegate and trust that uh, the hostess or the host can organise that. Yep, and make sure it's booked <laughs> before you show up. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, but the thing is planning a lot of events. So if you're going to do something like Diamond Club, mm -hmm. how much should you plan in advance and stuff? Okay. So I'll give them at least two months, of course. Okay. So two months in advance, um, you're planning yeah. out your because whole Because I'm Diamond away Club from my family. Sort of thing. Um, I was, you know, I didn't want to waste my time and waste that sacrifice. Okay. It better be worth it. Um, so I did three events each day. Because um, I told him, I said, use me, okay? I'm not going to sit around and just hang out and go shopping with you guys, right? We're going to do We've something. We've had that experience with uh, people as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's go. No, yeah. I'm here to teach. <laughs> yeah, check out it's my like, grandkids. Let's, let's check out, it's great. Yeah. But I, I really need <laughs> you to use me for so, why I'm here. Yeah, it's good to communicate mm -hmm. that beforehand. Yep. So I'm not yeah, gonna it's, it's go not like a holiday. Not, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Unless you're doing it in connection with a holiday, yeah. you know, like, be tacking on a few extra classes yeah. on the end but and i stay at people's houses because in the evening or between meals we're talking about their business we're going through their team we're looking at their team members and uh you know we're working out ways to help people so, <clears throat> so they, you're, yeah you're delegating to the mm -hmm. local builder they're calling their friends mm -hmm. yeah. um, and that that brings us to the next thing is promoting the events yeah so we have had some experiences where you know jade's gone out and traveled and mm -hmm. gone to or off locations, another country, mm -hmm. to find out that the local person hadn't called around and let anybody know about the classes that they yeah. planned. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so what do you do in those situations? All right, so I had uh, one time that we did that. We won't say any names or. <laughs> so I gave that. the lady two months and back and forth, she's like, yeah, all good. I got lots of friends, lots of family. But she didn't pick up the courage to call them and really focus on them. But, you know, she's thinking that she's just going to rock up and then talk to them and meet them. But she hasn't been back home for, for years. Um, so when we got to the country, got to the hotel, she burst out in tears. And I said, what's up? And she said, sorry, I'm letting you down. I'm all, what's up? And she said, she hasn't called and contacted anybody. So I'm like, that's okay. Let's do it now. Okay, so she called up. That's how you solve problems. <laughs> so just yep. pick up the phone and, and you yep. just started calling people yep. and say, so calling. hey, we've traveled to this other country and we're here to teach classes and yeah. let's set some classes up right now. Look, I have left my family. I've sacrificed my time. This and best if you can communicate it. all these right. things as you go and say, right. how many people have we yep. invited? What are their names? So that was Where the are the first classes time booked I, and, I every, left. and everything like yeah. that? It was one of the first times I left home because I had one lady say, hey, Jade, I've got tons of family, tons of whatever, lots of lots of um, promises. And I thought, go for it. Okay, I'll book my ticket. Let's do it. So I gave you two months, gave her two months to do it. And she didn't do anything. And I, we kept on contacting saying, yeah, I've got tons, you know, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, over and over, we set up hotels and everything. And I said, which town are we going to? And then I booked to the hotels, actually. I asked her, is that okay? Is that okay? Is that near your family and friends? And the whole time, she was too afraid to set up classes. <laughs> so we rocked up and then, you know, we did have people, we did have enrollments. Um, so they turned it around, but it could have been much better. It could have been much better. Situation. So, you know, I'm like, okay, which, we're in this town. You said, you've got families around. Okay, let's call them up. And some of them, oh, I've got to work. I've got to whatever. <clears throat> so I said, hey, they still have to eat, right? So let's meet them for lunch. So we had to meet people for lunch. And we actually enrolled people at the cafe. Ah, I take advantage <laughs> of people's need for food. <laughs> no one can no. go without it. But it's like, it's good because... Be where the food is. <laughs> everyone needs this. So you're listening, you're making friends, and hey, I hear that she needs oils for her sleep. I need oils for her legs, whatever it is. So, um, you know, we did that, and it met their needs, and they, they joined, and they were happy about it. But so what yeah. are the best ways to promote the classes? So the classes, first, events, business training. The first thing is the hostess needs to organize it and own it. Okay, they want to grow their business. I'm going to make the sacrifice to go to their place. So how can right? they promote it? 
So they need a flyers? Flyers, this piece of paper. It's a piece of paper. Yeah, just Okay, just tell people the details everything. so that they remember, that's all. Nothing and, fancy. And just, you know what? You need to make sure who, what, when, where, why, and how is on there so yes. people know where to go. And it's easy to say all these wonderful things yep. and left, leave out the date or something. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, just remember those um, question Five words. Five question words, yeah. And then Facebook, of course. You know, if you have the flyer, you might as well put it on Facebook. Do a Facebook event. Or invite whatever friends. social media that people use. If they're old people and they don't use it, then... A lot of people, yeah. the reason why I was very successful the last time, because I, I learned this stuff. And um, so I told them, I said, these are incentives that I'm going to provide. Um, so I had extra gifts because I wanted that trip to make... Um, and you know, huge difference. So I had the little keychains for 100 PV promotions, and I had extra so oils. gifts for enrollees. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they they were passing the word around. So when they were sharing oil samples and giving people the oil experiences, um, they were saying, "Hey, if you want to become a doTERRA member, you're going to wait until Jane comes next week or next <laughs> month, and then because uh, she's going to give you extra gifts." So they were actually almost saving enrollments until I got there. Okay, but it's Which an excuse. I think for, adds to the hype. Yeah, you know, when yeah. people are at the class and they're seeing six other people uh -huh. enrolling, they're oh, like, yeah. well, I have to enroll too because it's mob mentality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. back to the promotions. Okay. What is the best way to promote the classes? Um, I would say phone calls, personal phone calls, just conversations. Hey, you know, what, whatever your friend's name is. My friend um, Lucy is coming from you know, Australia, you know, and uh, she's going to teach us about essential oils. I know that you are into all natural. Would you like to come? You know, just, just talking to people um, is the best way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not that difficult. It's sort of like inviting a friend to your birthday party. <laughs> you know we're good at that we know how to do that so you're talking about how you can maximize your time what mm -hmm. what are some tips you can give to the team members and how to get the most out of their trip so you want to do you want to do um just classes where you're introducing the oils to people but i i make it a different topic so they sometimes a general essential oils intro it doesn't excite people so if you say essential oils and women's health, essential oils and, um, you know, chakras, yeah, <laughs> chakras. No, whatever it is that your family and friends are interested in. So I did have in um, Australia one, one class where they're like, can you teach chakras? And I said, yeah, I can teach chakras. Um, so we do essential oils and chakras. Um, basically, I just adapt to them, but it is all ways the um, introductory for the first half or first 15, 20 minutes, because they're still new, <clears throat> and you want to um, get everybody up to the same, you know, understanding, and then you can, you know, say, hey, that problem, use this, this problem, use that, okay? What about other classes? Yeah. Would you teach any other? Um, I remember yeah. one time you went, you taught the all five wellness classes in like a few hours. <laughs> that was crazy, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, uh, it was just for business training. So you want to, um, you know, the first time you're, you're, you're out, you're getting all these people to, to enroll in and everything, but you want to do some business training along with that too. So maybe, you know, one, uh, one uh, part of the day you do the, the oil intro and everything, and then the other part of the day you want to save it for um, business training. Because your new people, they see that you're building this business is exciting, but um, they they need you to catch them up on how to, how are they going to, uh, or how much money they're expecting to get out of this event, right? And um, how are they going to go forward? Because you need to teach them. I'm going to leave, but you are the one that's going to do the follow up. So you're going to give them some follow up training. So now our team, we teach them how to maximize your membership. Okay, so we have that form and we teach them how to maximize um, so that they can maybe, go back. Maybe it's a good time. Uh, why don't we pause and see if anybody has any questions? Oh, yeah. We're just so excited about traveling and <laughs> talking on and on. Does anybody have any questions or any comments? Anything they want to add? <laughs> Could we observe a moment of silence? <laughs> <laughs> can this information be found somewhere online? Yes. Um, under the business training, we just created it today. <laughs> and this video will be on there as well. So if you go to... Have a, a list of 
Would, would you like me to sh sh show? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't, why don't we bring it up here? So um, this is, um, is that the right one? Yeah, that's, that's the right one. Okay, so this is Jade Baldwin's website. Um, and this is kind of look, what it looks like on a mobile. So you go to the Meet Jade tab and the bit, Build with Jade and just click on our business training. This is where all of the business training, all these, all the videos that are the classes, online classes that we have on um, Friday nights or on Saturday morning in Australia. So we got basic business. Uh, so here's a, if you're just getting started, start there. Um, in advanced business training, that's where this would be. So um, you just need to read through the topics. There's not really any better way to organize it. We'll keep continue to work on this and improve it and put it a little bit more sense to it. So um, this is, uh, let's see, traveling is a, is a business activity. So it's one of the things you do to build your business. So this is what we're talking about tonight, travel tips for business. Right now it's just in bullet point format, but we'll improve that as we go. And that will, and this, the video will be posted yeah, the there. video will be posted there and everything. So this is where you get all the information. Great, thank you. You're welcome, that's a good question. Any other questions? Excellent. Okay. I have a question for Jade. Okay. <laughs> so um, how do you know what the needs are of the people? How do you know what to teach if you're going to adapt the okay. classes to their needs? So first of all, you have to, you've planned the class with the hostess. And so the hostess has to identify what their needs are. She has to know her friends. When does she ask them what their needs are? So when she's planning. When okay. She's planning. So when she's calling them up and say, Hey, um, Sally Jo Merriweather II, let's just say that's her name. Um, <laughs> I have this friend that's coming into town. She's really into natural uh, solutions, especially essential oils. I'd love to have you come to a class. She's gonna teach a class at my home. Would you, would you support me and come to this class or whatever you say? Um, and I'd like her to teach some, something that you know, will help you. Or is there anything that you'd like her to talk about? in that class or anything? Have you heard about essential oils? Yeah. Um, have you ever wondered what they can be used for? Yeah. Do you have any health concerns or ailments yeah. that um, yeah. you'd like to ask about that she can prepare it's, some stuff you know, for Sometimes you? you already know. Sometimes you already know your friends. So I, I had a trip to Ohio and um, my friend Des, she already knew what her friends needed. So she said, oh, can you stay another day? <laughs> yes. So she says, we have a lot of friends that want to know about um, these oils and even and booking so one-on-ones she, is a good mm -hmm, idea. Yep. She booked three classes. So one was for um, healthy mum, um, healthy life and um, something like that and uh, connected kids and then allergies. So we had all of those classes. Um, and of course, if you can't make one and you come to another, if, although you wanted to go to the other one, um, we can fill you in. Right. I told her, I said, Look, they can't make this one, but they really want to know about this one. They can just come along anyways and we'll fill them in and give them the handout of what the other class was about. Now, as Jade was fortunate enough to um, be regis uh, registered or certified as a Aroma Touch trainer and certifier, um, which is something you can do once you're gold. Mm -hmm. Once you're gold, you can seek out certification and get certified to train other people in Aroma Touch. So she'll include that in a lot of her travels yeah. as well. Yep. That's some. That's another topic for another day. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's what we do, and it was really good. We had people that that booked it, and then uh, RSVP because that's something that they're really interested in. You get people there because that's what they need. So, what what advice would you give to the builders that you're traveling to, um, to um, build in their area? What what sort of goals do you would you have for them? Say you're setting up this. Say I'm coming to your area um, to like to host some classes for you. What are you looking for in that builder? What what sort of goals do you want to see? Um, so, what do you mean, sort of? Um, what kind of a builder are you looking for? Oh, yeah, they they have to be proactive. They have to be solution seekers because I, I I want to help them. Um, set up classes but I don't want to solve all their problems for them <laughs> because they, they have to sort of they say okay Jay we have this many people um, we, 
we don't have a place and more I, I think that they can handle that I think that they can find solutions for something like that okay okay good so yeah people that are proactive and um, you know that can solve problems and they're taking their business seriously yeah. it's not just a no. hobby no definitely that's another thing too very importantly um, you know, when they see that this is a serious business, they can make better decisions. They can say, look, I have to sacrifice this here that I used to do because I need to make room for this business. Okay, that's the people that I really, really want to work with. And I think we <laughs> talked about last week um, um, when it comes to focusing on your passion. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people will identify 17 things that they want to focus on, and that's not yeah. really what focus is about. Yeah. Um, you, you need to whittle out. Sometimes you just need to choose between the good, better, and best. And which one would you choose? <laughs> the best. Right. Right. <laughs> so right. that means you're going to have to say no to a lot of good things. Right. There's a lot of bad things in the world. Those are easy to say no to. Yeah. There's a lot of good things in the world. Those are a little bit harder because you feel bad saying no to good yeah. things. But just say, just believe that you're saying yes to a better thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you got to focus on that and it's got a their doTERRA business has to be somewhere higher in their yeah. priorities in their yes. life and needs to take up oh, how many hours a week would you recommend that oh i think it's at least 15 hours if you're going to be a serious builder yeah. i mean if you're looking to replace your income it's 30 hours now, if you don't have that to start with one or two hours is a good place to start but yeah. you're not serious until you are maybe doing five to ten hours mm -hmm. a week and um, and this can be in the evening. It can be making friends with people is working in your doTERRA business. How cool is that? Take a friend out to lunch, ticking away the hours, mm -hmm. enjoying your pasta and working <laughs> the, work in the field, <laughs> right? Nothing lemon oil. In All water. that counts. <laughs> that is work building your network and you can feel good about, you know, enjoying it and having fun yeah yeah because you're making differences in people's lives and yeah. part of that is making friends okay yeah. good all right um why don't we move on to a practical topic so yes. what do we bring with us <laughs> what do we pack okay so we've split this section into first let's talk about um business and class supplies okay okay the business supplies i used to pack a lot of modern essential books so i just pack one now or if my hostess has them, that's enough. And, and we used to buy a lot of modern essentials books, but sending people to the website to buy their own, empowers them. we found empowers them. And they go there, they see that there are other products, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and often we'll give them a mini book or a, you know, a bookmark or yep. the app um, solves it for a lot of people. And that's yep. instantaneous. Um, so of yeah. course you get, uh, you ask the hostess to print out all the enrollment forms and the flyers and um, so if they, you have handouts, you have them print out their handouts. So you don't have to carry it, but I print extra anyways because on the plane I might meet people and you know, if the hostess forgets, at least we have something. So I don't print a whole heap, but I do print some. So at least we have some to, to get by, but I have enrolled people on the plane. So, you know, you have it ready to go. Okay. So uh, you got to imagine yourself, you are going to enroll people at these classes and be prepared to do mm -hmm. so. Um, you know, you might be just preparing for failure if you've mm -hmm. gone to a class and you don't have anything to enroll. People. I don't micromanage people. So I let them do the, the bulk of it. If they say, if they forget, or they, you know, printed the flyers and forgot to print out the enrollment forms, for example, whatever. This is a great opportunity for them to learn that lesson forever. <laughs> they will never make that mistake again because they're like, okay, you know, time to, you know, back up a little bit. And that's fine, but at least I have a little bit of a backup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Training leader, leaders means you're not doing everything for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's all the paper. <laughs> paper um, you know, and also, uh, if you have a family member that's hosting for you, and if they've never experienced oils before, you don't ever want to go there without them having an experience before you get there. So I tell my friends, hey, if she's hosting a class next month for you, make sure she's using oils already. You know, send her samples. Make sure she has samples to walk around and say, this is what they're talking about. Come to these classes. This is what they're going to talk about. You know, put oils on people. So she's putting 
um, giving people oil experiences before you come, mm. right? Because that way people know and they're not shocked that they thought they're going to be there to buy candles or whatever. I've had people go, oh, I was just going to come to buy some candles. I didn't know we're going to talk about hormones. <laughs> right. yeah. Same yeah. thing, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, that lady, she, she was like bawling her eyes out. She's like, I'm so glad I came. I packed some money for candles. And she had no idea what this was all about. And of course, you need to bring oils. Yeah. Um, I've heard of people going to teach a class and they don't have any oils with them. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Yes. We won't um, name any names. No. He might cry. <laughs> <laughs> Products as well. And yeah. gifts. Yes. Not just about gifts that you bring home to your husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But no gift, souvenirs. Not a problem gifts. about that. So gifts for who? And so what? hostess gifts. Um, you know, you, you just know if they're your teammates, you know what they need, they want. Or hosts, some guys do hosts. Yes, and um, gifts for enrollment. So I pack a whole bunch of uh, the little mini um, sample vials because they're small enough to pack, but they're very fun and valuable. People like that stuff. Um, and I have just the, if I can get the hostess to pack that already and I send her materials and things, she can start doing that. So you buy a pack of 25 of the uh, magazines, the living magazines. Which, which are great because they have oils. recipes, they have articles, and they have Yeah, and you put it all together in an organza bag. Yeah. And then, you know, you hold that up for people to see that this is your enrollment gift. Okay, so we do that. Um, you know, Good. whatever you can delegate, delegate. If you're flying, you want to pack, um, a, you know, very lightly. Do you pack a diffuser? Um, not normally. If I'm driving, I'll pack as much as I can. If they're new to doTERRA, of course, I pack most of my stuff. So just know? have that conversation. And yeah, if you, don't you have to bring talk a to people. If they have it. Yeah, but yeah. don't assume. If they're already a member for a while, don't assume that you need to bring everything because you want them to learn how to set up. You want them to get that skill too. Okay, what about traveling on the airplane? Oh, okay. So don't travel with a full-size toothpaste. <laughs> I have a full size, brand new, unopened, and they threw it away. <laughs> those those guards don't even use the toothpaste. I mean, it's yeah. good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it was like really sad. Yeah. Um, so yeah. do everything travel size, of course, if it's going to be carry on. You can bring oils on the plane. So you know how you have those um, pencil case size uh, oils? I squeeze about 25 of the 15 mil bottles in there and I can get it on the plane. I have not been stopped or asked about it. In fact, one time I was going through, I don't know where, in Queensland, I think, in Australia, um, and one of the guards uh, that was looking at the monitor, he looked up and he says, you've got essential oils in there. And I said, yes. And he says, my wife does essential oils. <laughs> and I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> So you just, whoop, you had it. some citrus bliss earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if they do ask you about them, what would you say? Oh, so I've been told if they ask you about it, um, you just say, hey, they're from medicinal usage. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, some people have asked, well, what about the x-rays? We put our essential oils through the x-ray machines. Does that affect the quality of the essential oils? Yeah. And doTERRA, the last, last convention, they... they Everybody was asking weird questions and they said, look, uh, they've tested it, no change at all. So feel rest assured, I guess you can't put your camera through, but like, you can put your essential oils through. And it actually enhances the quality of the x-ray. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's not an oil for that. X-ray machines, not really. You know, <laughs> an oil for the x-ray machine. <laughs> now you see Technicolor. <laughs> okay, what about samples? Um, Bring a bunch of samples always. You, you Would should, you only bring samples? You should have, um, well, okay, if you have somebody that has all the oils already, that's great, but still pack one of these, okay? So you can see that you have your minis. That's a beautiful sample collection. <laughs> this is that to. Okay, <laughs> so we have uh, the blends and the singles. Yeah. And so you have at least one of each, because sometimes your hostess might have most of the oils, but not all of the oils. Because um, it's really good if they can smell or somehow experience the essential oils. That's what, and really on the plane or when while you're traveling. But, uh, you know, in my purse. So there are I've two different got, kinds of samples. You got these are the two mil bottles. You have to fill yourself. It takes a lot of effort. Just kidding. They're really easy. Fill yourself. <laughs> Poor man. And then you've got these. doTERRA actually makes samples pre-made, if you're not aware. 
when there's a sample trio mm -hmm. and the blend trio. And I think it's still BOGO, so you buy one, get one free. Yeah. That's what B-O-G-O -O stands for. It took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> Little tiny one mil samples, and they've got the name of the essential oil printed on in true doTERRA fashion and some inf information about it. So whoever you give them the sample to, we worked it out. It's like a dollar um, mm -hmm. for one of these or something yeah. like that. It's all right. Yeah. So it's actually cheaper to get these than to do these yourself. Yep. And over here is peppermint, melaleuca, and lavender. Another really good thing to get is the Empower Kit in Australia or the Class in the Box in the United States. The Class in the Box in Australia now too. I've been corrected. So a Class in the Box, it comes with flyers, it comes with cards, it comes with uh, product guides, and it comes with enrollment forms. Mm -hmm. Um, the kits and the um, intro uh, yeah. lesson handout. If you're just going to go on a, a short trip and not pack a lot, you can do the sample toothpaste. Sample toothpaste. Too. So but that I bring when you're a bunch. talking to people, they don't pass out. I bring toothpaste. a bunch and add that to my gift pack because then you get people that buy oils and they they don't think about the other products and they try it and then the next month you can see this is on their, their shopping cart. Yep. And that leads us to our next item on our list here. Other products for personal use. So toothpaste. That's a good way to do toothpaste. Mm -hmm. um, in the Father's Day kit, they had that um, little travel toothpaste thing. Not sure if that will be a permanent item. Um, we'll, Fingers crossed. We'll just wait and see. In the meanwhile, you can use a sample toothpaste. Or I don't know if you feel like squeezing it into a smaller bottle. Shampoo and conditioner. Buy yourself a little travel bottle and fill that with the shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. So you're you know, you can continue to use the products. Supplements. They have those mini, um, you have, you know, the bottles that you have your digest in soft gels in and the on guard soft gels in. Well, take the labels off when the, you've used it up and then make them into your mini size a lifelong vitality packs. So you're not taking the entire, um, you know, stuff. It fills a lot of plate, space. space in your luggage so you're just using a smaller bottle and putting your supplements in there so your 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 mini bottles that um you know like the digest then soft gels right okay when you've used it up take off the label and then um label it the you know lifelong vitality, lifelong pack. vitality. so you you have your iq uh z omega in one and then you have you know the vm in one and then the alpha Little series trap. So really now you have little thing. mini versions of your lifelong vitality pack in that little size. Alternatively, you could use a pill box. Um, yeah. It doesn't all fit, that's all. One thing box. you don't want to do is take all the supplies so your family doesn't have any toothpaste, <laughs> shampoo, or lifelong vitality supplies. That only happened the first year. <laughs> Actually, I've spoken to a lot of men. Um, they're like, well, my wife's telling me to take these things, but she always she could, takes off and then... Um, we don't have anything to use. <laughs> we have no oils in the house. They're all traveling about the country. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, and, and when in doubt, if you've got a bigger bottle or something like that, just put it in your check-in luggage and that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Road trip. What would you say for someone going on a road trip? Any specific advice? Uh, yeah, just don't leave your products in the car when in it's a hot, hot uh, Weather. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the, the heat and the sun can mm -hmm. change the molecular makeup. Mm -hmm. What about packing in general? Any okay. I have seen friends that pack everything but their kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. uh, don't do that. <laughs> pack um, light. Pack light and iron-free uh, iron clothes. Pack layers. Okay. Because I've had people say, I don't know what to pack. So I pack for every weather, you know, and I just, whatever I feel like. I don't know what I feel like. So I packed everything. You know, it's it's a okay. different pair of shoes for every day. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to wear the same pair of shoes and just change out your outfits, and then have a jacket that you can use for this outfit and that outfit and the other outfit. So, like my little clothes is just in a tiny little corner in my luggage. So I used to pack heavier, and over time it just got smaller and smaller, and I still did fine. But wrinkle-free, um, iron-free clothes is the best because then you don't have to worry about um, spending time doing that. You can rest up and then you can teach your classes and do your work because you're away from your family and this is business. Um, so I, I say maximize that time that you're away and you're with people. Yeah. 
Does anybody have any other questions? We've kind of um, covered, <laughs> covered the subject. Why don't we just open it up and see, was it helpful for you guys? Yes, we've gotten a yes, positive <laughs> yes. Heads shaking, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> a thumb up and a thumb down, which is ambiguous. It's <laughs> <Thanks>, wrong. <laughs> 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 So you guys, okay, um, what do you think about Diamond Club? Here's Kim. Okay. Uh, there's a comment from the peanut gallery. Hey, here's a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, okay, it was a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you Diamond Club's, you know, in the future plan? As soon as I give silver. Yep, silver. Lucy, I'm going to un unmute you for you to say that again. Okay. It's a bit noisy, but 2018, Diamond Club. Yeah. Diamond Club. <laughs> Go for it. Just, and and you'll, I, if people have gone through Diamond Club, they, they'll see their business skyrocket. Uh -huh. Like we're, we're talking like 100 enrollments a month, 60 yes. enrollments a yes. month. But it's not uncommon. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's excellent. Um, so to prepare for Diamond Club, um, so Lucy, we're going to get you to premiere ASAP because December is your qualifying yeah. month. Yeah, we'll December. Do it. Okay. Yep. So we're going to read about it and research. Yep. And we know that a lot of people are listening to this uh, podcast. So if you have any questions, um, let us know. Um, you can, you know, just put it on the Facebook group or, or contact us directly. Mm -hmm. We will also, we're also planning on doing, you know, some training on Diamond Club itself, general training and posting some videos from our recent Diamond Club participants. We'll work on that, but. Yeah, we're doing an interview with them next week. Part of the um, Diamond Club is you need a sponsor from one of your up, up lines. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Yep. So we didn't tell you that some of that um, reimbursement money comes from us. us. <laughs> So we're invested in you and um, doTERRA pays for half of that reimbursement and we pay the other half and we share that other half with two other, other people if, if um, we can get two more people to, yeah. to sponsor you. And it all works out for everybody's benefit. Everybody mm -hmm. grows. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It's great. It's a great thing. Don't you think, you know, I don't know any other company that will pay you to build your own business. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Well, we'll leave everybody with it. We'll um, yeah. say good night. Thank you, yeah. everybody, Stop for the recording now. Thank you for, um, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. We'll get more of these. And, you know, you know follow us. There's the jadebalden.com. Just go to business training. Um, there's all the topics there. For those of you that are listening to the podcast, um, keep listening. We appreciate it. Send us your comments, questions. Um, yeah, post. Post your questions on the Facebook page. It's mm -hmm. really it's easy to get way. input from a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we'll leave you here. Thank you again.